Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome. This is Kathy speaking. Welcome to Divine Debut. For your March readings, we will be looking at love, finances, and generally speaking, how the month of March will play out for you. We will be extending these readings for more, more cards, more information, more depth. Um, so you can get all the links beneath this video. All those links that will take you either onto Patreon, where those of you that are on Patreon already know all the extended readings are for free as long as you're a member with us through Patreon. So those of you that are not, do consider joining us as we, we do so much on Patreon. For those of you that are not on Patreon, um, you can get the extended uh, readings through my website. Again, the links are all beneath the video. And a very important thing before I go on to the readings, my dear friends, um, is that please, if you are subscribed and you have pressed that notification bell, maybe unsubscribe and subscribe again. Check that that notification bell is pressed because many of you are not receiving the indication that I have uploaded more videos. All right, so let's go on to the month of March. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment always as it supports the channel. Thank you so much. Let's go on to the readings. Hello, hello, dear Aries, and welcome to Divine Debut. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see what's going on in March for you. Okay, I will be extending this reading. I will be taking... Um, here I'll be taking the Heart Oracle, the Tarot for the Heart Oracle, and the Good Tarot to uh, look at matters of business and finances. The Heart Oracle obviously will be for matters of heart. And in the extended, I'll be taking a lot more, a lot more cards pertaining especially to love. Okay, the Mystic Moon Oracles. I'll be taking Lenormand. I'll be taking my handwritten cards. So what's going on for Aries? Aries in the month of March, dear spirit. Wow. We've got a King of Cups. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, someone that's has very fluctuating emotions. Someone usually that's quite romantic. I don't know if it's someone that uh, is able to... Someone that is able to speak from the, the depths of their emotions. But this is someone very creative. So thank you, dear spirit, for Aries. So in the now position, we've got a king of cups. So this could be an offering. Whatever that is, it's something that could make you happy. Let's see where you're coming from. So knight of pentacles. Usually Virgo energy, someone who's very hardworking. Um, Eight of Swords, so some sort of blockages. Uh, what's on your mind is marriage or happiness or stability. This is what you're thinking. This is what the King of Cups is thinking. Whoever this is, this could be you. This could be another person. The possible outcome is the Four of Pentacles. No, this is someone that does not, cannot cannot speak from the heart. This is someone who has difficulties in being emotionally emotionally balanced. Maybe there's more growth that needs to happen here. Four of Pentacles is someone that's holding uh, back or holding on for matters pertaining to happiness. Uh, as I said, it could be creative energies. It could be um, energies pertaining to love what's at the bottom of the deck, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles, so more Virgo energy, this could be someone who's got um, Earth, Virgo is more prominent, we've also got some Taurian energies here, um, this could be someone that you work with, okay, there's, uh, there's stuck energies playing out pertaining to the past, whatever, whatever the it is that you're hoping to build on and we know that the knight of pentacles holds the pentacle right which can speak to a long-term connection 
I can also speak to uh, business and money, related to business and money and the Four of Wands, which is crowning you, is something stable and something that you're wanting to celebrate. Um, so there's uh, fluctuating energies right now and there's also fixed energies, I would say, pertaining to the future. Now, thing is, is that the Piscean season, the Aries, and this reading obviously is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, Mars, and the North Node. So do, if you've got your rising in another sign, do watch that. I mean, uh, moon. the moon signifies your emotions, your subconscious, your fears as well. So you can watch that uh, if your moon is in another sign. Now, Venus is money and a love. So if you've got your Venus in another sign, do go and watch that. Mars is what energy you put towards manifesting something. And your north node is obviously your your fate and where you're striving towards, where you're needing to get uncomfortable and move towards. So we do see here that there's sort of like you're hoping for some sort of happiness or stability pertaining to your goals and your aspirations, whatever this celebration is pertaining to. Now, it is the marriage card. So if we're talking about uh, relationships, right, it looks like you've been quite stagnant. That It's more about planning. Now, maybe you're dealing with someone that is very hardworking. This could be you as well. Someone that's been putting in a lot of effort towards work and maybe putting love on the back burner, maybe needing to... Uh, look at one's finances and one's stability before matters of heart. And remember the four of pentacles, yes, does speak to the home. You've got a couple of fours here, but there's your perception is recently that you've been blocked. Now, there's things that you don't know. You could see she's blindfolded. And the Piscean season, obviously, speaks to a quiet time for you before the sun ingresses into um Aries which is when your birthday starts so that it's a beginning on many levels dear Aries as you know uh when the sun ingresses into Aries it's the beginning of the new astrological year so it's very very much about blessings and beautiful changes coming in but the month of March uh, generally will be a little bit quiet or things are happening behind your back that you don't know of Okay, and we're, you're coming from the Five of Cups, so there's been some sort of disappointment, obviously. Maybe someone hasn't been putting in the work. If you're dealing with a Virgo, uh, Virgo people are very much about the details. They're much about strategy and long-term planning. So, I mean, this King of Cups can be very positive. Having the ability to create, he holds that Ace of Cups, so it's it's here, the energy is here. Maybe it's something that you don't know in the month of March. Okay, so let's take some other cards. Let's see your karma and your dharma for the month of March. And remember that the Eight of Swords is someone's perception of feeling blocked, uh, a lack of good communication. This is someone's perception, right? Thinking that there's no possible new beginning in matters of uh, anything to do with creating a stable, long-term relationship. Uh, maybe even having the ability to create something that will give you manifestation of your dreams. Um, the ability to feel safe and secure financially as well and we've got faith so this is Taurus Taurus is of course uh, the faith card speaking to your beliefs but also it can speak to marriage uh, it is restrictive fairly restrictive energies with Taurus which ta Taurus is values it is Venus ruled so 
values, prosperity, money, right? Anything that makes you feel good, that makes you feel stable and feel secure within a marriage. And if that is the case, I do see here that there has been restrictive energies. Um, I don't know why, but I feel as though someone here is prolonging uh, a situation towards something committed. So something long lasting and something pertaining to securities. So even if this is a partnership where relationship is concerned, there has been a lot of worries and a sense of limiting energies and that there is work that needs to be done. Someone maybe hasn't been putting in the effort. Let's see what the Heart Oracle pertaining to love is advising here for you in the month of March. Now remember, dear Aries, that if we are talking about a Scorpio, which for others of you could be another water sign, could also be a Piscean, I suppose, since we've got Virgo energies. Um, Virgo is opposite Pisces, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, for a few of you, maybe even Cancer, because we've got a couple of fours. Cancer is the fourth house. Uh, but if this is a Scorpio, remember, you're both ruled by Mars, and Mars is up there in Capricorn, which is sort of squaring you. Oh my God, love is coming through for you. Uh, Agape is here and her name means love. So that's a beautiful omen for you. It's saying, hold on to the faith that the work that you've done towards something long-term can play out probably towards the end of March after the 20th let's see what's going on in love for Aries and I was saying that Mars is in a very strong position but it's also remember it's going to catch up to Pluto so there's going to be a lot of transformative energies pertaining to your life and whatever you are aiming for whether it's business whether it's um, a position of um, leadership Capricorn or it's just very limiting energies right now now we've got blossom beautiful it's it's the judgment card and blossom speaks to second chances it's also a critical uh, it's a card of a critical decision that needs to be made maybe even choosing two different between two different people or it says that you have not been happy there's been stagnancy spirit is saying it's time to resurrect your life we've got finding balance so yes it can speak to choices we've got a couple of twos and today wow you've got joy and stability there is something this is the four of wands today's uh, as i'm doing your reading it's actually the 22nd of the second of 2022 so we've got two and two equals four that is really, really positive. And of course, number eight, eight, which speaks to infinity. Eight is the strength card pertaining to confidence. So maybe someone hasn't been confident pertaining to uh, offering you their cup for something long term or having the ability to create something long term. Now, you could also have been dealing with someone that was maybe in another connection where there was no happiness, right? Someone felt sort of blocked where they were. Their heart chakra was blocked. And maybe they're coming from a, a difficult time, and that could be you as well. Um, so... This is like you need to handle this situation very carefully because someone is very fragile. Someone's emotions are very fragile, I'm getting here. but And things are up in the air pertaining to love that there is a choice. There is a moment of second chances as well. Could also be with someone that you've been dealing from from the past. Maybe that was another connection, an unhappy connection. There's joy and stability on offer here, dear Aries. 
And remember that the, the, the Four of Wands is like a portal that opens. Let's look at you uh, pertaining to business and finances. And we will obviously be extending the uh, tarot. I'll be taking another layer here, but I'll, I'll be taking more pertaining to love. And we'll be taking the Lenormand on these positions as well in the extended. So what's going on for Aries in the month of March pertaining to finances and business? Now, I wanted to say also that maybe you're dealing with someone difficult, someone who maybe also has uh, psychological issues pertaining to family, and there's been like no growth, no, no love and no stability in your environment. Okay, maybe you're dealing with someone that's going through a tough time as well, maybe because of finances. So maybe give them the benefit of the doubt. And maybe this is someone that holds you very close in their heart. But maybe they're going through a rough time and like bringing out a, you know, their shadow side at this time. Let's see what's going on here. We've got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, which is checking out of a situation where someone did not find bliss. Remember, it's the Eight of Cups. So this could be a transition, a change pertaining to career. We've got the Nine of Wands. So it's been difficult for you. It's been difficult, very difficult with that Nine of Wands. Feels as though you've been dealing with a brick wall. You've wanted to make some sort of change. But it feels as though you're untrusting that you'll be able to find your balance pertaining to your career uh, or anything that pertains to work. So wherever you've been, it's been really tough and you've been challenged. You haven't, you're not happy. And we've got justice, which is another portal that opens. Justice is Libra and it speaks to balance. Now, maybe there's been injustices with you trying to find happiness working, but not finding the happiness that you, um, you've been looking for. So there's been imbalances, obviously, uh, a sense of unjust a situation where you've been working hard and you haven't been recognized. But the Justice card promises beautiful energy. So it's like a portal that opens for you where you can find uh, collaboration or balance pertaining to a partnership. Hello, Agape. <laughs> Hello, Agape. You're such a sweetheart. So let's put the Eight of Pentacles down as that's the general energies. Let's see what's going on with this uh, King of Cups. Agape. Yes, sweetheart, I know. Can you leave the cards and not make a mess? Thank you. Say hello to everyone. Hello, friends. Oh, my God. So the devil, Capricorn energies, which, as I said, your ruling planet is in, it's in uh, Capricorn. So it's a tough time, uh, even where love is concerned. Uh, these are like blockages, right? Needing to prove yourself. Um, and this can speak to fears, remember. It can speak to limiting energies as well. Maybe even timely uh, blockages. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Swords. So there has been uh, a heartbreak, difficulties, disappointments of lack of movement and a sense of insecurities here. Let's look at that Eight of Swords. We've got the Three of Pentacles. So yes, this is obviously a card of collaboration, but lots of maybe trying to find, you know, what works for you creatively as well. Maybe also it's your, uh, I feel that there's doubts 
uh, you're doubting your abilities here, but I feel here that there's promise. This holds promise to the ability to expand and find uh, recognition. Now, the Eight of Swords could also be other people uh, putting you in a position of, you know, you doubting yourself or maybe there's been hardship with... Um, with collaborations as well, there's been blockages here, doubts pertaining to receiving the recognition, even if this is in matters of love, dear, dear Aries. You've got a couple of threes here, so there are other people that are in the picture. What's crowning you? We've got the Ace of Swords, so there is clarity. This is like a victory card. This is like also a double-edged sword. So... I want to take one more on that devil. And we've got judgment, which is also here. This is second chances. Now, as I said, the devil is, it can be narcissistic uh, energies, dark energies as well, that maybe this king of cups is going through. Blockages pertaining to the ability to create fears. As I said, this king of cups maybe a uh, sort of a repression or maybe even depression pertaining to their ability to find love because remember the devil is very sexual energy it's like a driving uh, force but it's also it's also fear based and very unhealthy So maybe even having being challenged by someone that is above you. This is in relation to career because it's limiting energies, remember. We've got second chances here with a judgment card. Remember that this is Mars. This is your ruling planet. Uh, Mars uh, probably connecting with Pluto. So maybe second chances through letting go of any fears the fear of disappointment, maybe even in matters of love, right? This is Archangel Michael. And this is a, a point of, you know, someone needing to make a decision to, to, uh, to move forward, to resurrect anything that's been stuck in their life. Let's look at that Four of Pentacles. And there's that Nine of Wands, which you have again. So the Nine of Wands is in the area of business and career. But also, if this is in matters of, uh, because it's right next to that King of Cups, this, these are the blockages. You've been tested very hard. And if this is something that you've held the faith, and thought, you know, I'm going to, I will get to my goal. Okay, that's what the general energy is saying. The karma dharma is saying, hold on to the faith. Even though you've gone through many challenges, whatever you've been hoping for can manifest. And there it is that with the sun, totally on point. And this is the, the, the house, Leo. Leo is the house of creation. It's the house of childlike energies, healing uh, true love, flirtation, the ability to create a, and also go through, you're going through a healing stage. Remember, Leo is also flirtation. It's, it's leadership. It's I'm going to create. I'm going to take that risk. Let's look at that Eight of Pentacles. And we've got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords being communication right we've got virgo gemini which is mercury so mercury does speak to communication having made a decision remember the judgment is a critical moment when someone needs to make a very important decision to let go of any fears any limitations and restrictions pertaining to the ability to create matters of love And remember what I spoke of before, that 
there is a critical moment here where someone is making a decision. They're working very hard at uh, moving towards something that's much more stable and the ability for a long-term commitment, maybe even a marriage. Oh, I love you, baby. She's like, oh, I love you so much. You're such a sweet pea. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the energy oracle has for you. So for Aries in the month of March, dear spirit, Aries. What's the message for Aries in the month of March? Remember the Page of Swords is a messenger, a message of truth. So maybe even, sorry about that, <laughs> with a happy, someone ready, uh, communicating that they're ready to do the work and moving towards matters of heart or the ability to create and take leadership. And we've got fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. And the fourth chakra is the chakra of the heart. So this does speak to love relationships, whether it's um, connected to family or marriage. We know that you've gone through difficulties. There was no growth in the past, but the promise is here. And whatever you've been hoping for, even if it was at a timely distance, the possibility is here, right? 38 is an 11. 11 does speak to justice. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's going through a divorce, right? Someone who's getting rid of a narcissistic, difficult connection of the past, right? And they could be opening up to you a step at a time as the sun comes through. And the sun does speak to happiness. Remember, the sun is going to enter your sign at the 20th of March, roughly there. So a good news, I would say, towards the end of March. And this is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, dear Aries. Looks like Agape is fallen asleep. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> so love has come to stay for you. Love has come to stay, dear Aries. And with that, I will leave you. As I said, I will be extending this and taking many more cards, uh, especially pertaining to love. Okay, so do consider joining me there. Con consider joining me on Patreon. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting and thank you for your support those of you that will be with me on patreon i will see you there love and light Ta -da. and happy birthday for those of you that are celebrating uh at on the first days of of the month of the airy season i should say love and light darlings